So for this project, I started with a vase that cost $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. They always have them up there in uh, several different colors. In this, if you look at the very bottom of it, you can see it's clear, which means the vase is just painted red. That when you nip away at it, you will see that the glass is clear in the middle and red on each side. And um, the best glass to use, of course, is when the color is all the way through it, but I'm going to show you how to disguise it in this video. So I went around the entire vase and nipped it until the whole thing was gone. So for this video, I'm not going to go into detail on how to make the petals, but you can see that I just continue to nip around the perimeter of the top of the vase until the entire thing is gone. And I have two videos uh, prior to this that I made roses on, and if you want to watch those, you can see in more detail how I did it. But um, for this, I just want to show you also what the glass looks like that is not um, colored all the way through. You can see how it's clear. You'll see little scratches on the glass sometimes. If you're up at the thrift store, that's another way to tell. If it has a scratch and it's clear under the scratch, then it's uh, just painted on. So then I go ahead and take these flowers and put them on the painted surface. I had painted three big circles where I was going to put the roses. And um, I just do that. And then on this one, I go ahead and just put them on and make a rose. And on the third one, I do the same thing and make a rose without anything under it. Next, I mix up my resin. When I use resin, I wear gloves. I use a respirator. I'm using ClearCast 7000. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin. I put them both in the cup. They're clear when you first put them in. As you start to stir them, they become cloudy. You're, the slower you stir it, the less bubbles you'll get. You're supposed to scrape the sides and the bottom as you stir it. After about three minutes of stirring, you're ready to pour it on your project. So I start by pouring it over the rose that doesn't have any color under it at all, and I'm not putting any color on it, so it's just going to be just resin over top of it so that you'll see what it looks like to use glass that isn't colored all the way through. And then I take the resin and I pour it over, well, I pour it around it, and then I also pour it over the one that has paint underneath it to show you what that'll look like. And then the center one, I just take the resin and pour it around the perimeter of the flower, but do not put any underneath the flower. Then I go ahead and mix up some red mica powder with the resin to put over the top. But I'm going to let it sit there for about 20 minutes or so before I do it to thicken up. And I really wished I would have let it sit a little bit longer to thicken up. So that would be my suggestion to you. So then after about 20 minutes, I came back and I spooned the resin over, being careful not to get it outside of the perimeter. And my suggestion to you now would be each resin has a different work time that you can work with it before it really starts to set. And I would try to get closer to the end of that work time before you put it down. So in other words, this particular resin has 45 minutes work time. So probably if I left it for 35 minutes instead of 20, it would have been a little bit thicker. And I did end up coming back and um, kind of removing some of the red that I got around the perimeter. So um, the thicker it is, the better. The more set it is, the better. Hey, everyone. I hope you guys understood how I was explaining the roses and how to color them. So when you use a rose or a glass that's not colored all the way through and you're trying to make a flower or a rose out of it, it look, it'll look like this, which isn't bad. It looks pretty. But if you want it to look red all the way through, this one is the one that's painted on the back. So um, that is painted on the back and it makes that makes <laughs> this look like that just by simply putting paint down the back of it it's crazy and um and then uh and putting this is clear resin over it clear resin over the top and then this is the one that has the colored resin over the top which makes this look like this <laughs> the only thing is when you're doing colored resin you should really wait till it thickens up a little bit 
and um, you have to make sure it doesn't go out of the perimeter of the rose because then it can look messy and you can tell that it's colored with resin. But um, so those are two ways. If you do not have the glass that's colored all the way through, and like I said, this is just made from one Dollar Tree vase. I mean, how how easy is that? One buck. You can even get canvases from the Dollar Tree. You know what? I think these canvases are from the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, besides the resin, you could make this for all three of these for, you know, less than five dollars or five bucks. Anyway, I hope you understood it. So, the other experiment I've been messing with, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, is are these markers. <laughs> um, so, you know, when I did that little chicky, how the eye ran, if you look back on my video, the Easter chick, and so I was trying to experiment. So I thought, well, maybe I just didn't let it dry enough. So what I did was then I put all these different markers on here and I let it dry for 48 hours. So there's the paint marker, it didn't run. The laundry marker did not run. The Crayola, um, the Crayola one did, that did run. The Bic marker fine point didn't run and the Sharpie didn't run. So I thought, well, that's weird, okay. So I decided maybe it had something to do with the, sh the Sharpie reacting with the paint. So then I took, um, so then I decided to do it on canvas and again, I let it dry for 48 hours and um, this was what happened. So the laundry marker was pretty good, but if you look close, you can see there was a little bit of running. The Sharpie definitely ran. The Deco pen did not. The Bic marker did run a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. That next marker, the Marfone metallic marker did not. And the paint marker did run a little bit right up there at the top. And that's another story. That's a big mess. Well, I took apart the paint marker thinking I was taking the top off, but I actually took the part off that the paint stuff is in and it just went all over. And the, this paint marker isn't like any paint I've ever known because it was almost like ink. It got on your fingers and I hit, the only way I could get it off after scrubbing was with el rubbing alcohol. So anyway, so um, I may try on glass then. Maybe with the glass, the markers don't uh, run as much. So if you guys have any experience with this, let me know. <laughs> So I hope I explained the rose situation and the glass not being colored all the way through what you can do. And of course, there's other ways to color glass with alcohol ink, with Krylon stained glass and um, sea glass spray paints. And there was one other translucent spray paint that was a coral color that I found. Um, I talk about in one of my other videos. But um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, subscribe and they'll notify you. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.